What's up, survivalist? Optimum FN here, and thanks for hanging out with me today. And welcome back to Remnants. Back here with another update guide for you. If you guys missed my last update, I'll link a card up in the top corner. Make sure to check it out. All right, so the game went on sale yesterday, 5 16 21. There is a sale on Steam for 20% off right now. I'll leave a link down in the description below if you guys want to check it out on the Steam store. It is pretty cheap right now, so take advantage of it. It is an early access game, so go ahead and sink your teeth into that one. All right, so today we're going to go over some of these patch notes here and show you what was implemented with the patch on Sunday. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it here. All right, so he added cooking pot and grill to all cookers. You now need a cooking grill to use a cooking pot. Rise Bunker Elevator is now operational. It still is a work in progress. Uh, he improved garden planting, added carrots and carrot seeds, changed and increased some of the UI fonts, added UI scaling for inventory, work in progress. Anti-rad pills now increase your recovery time if used outside of active radiation by 150%. Anti-rad pills duration changed from 15 seconds to 25 seconds. Added stick hatchway, added wood hatchway, added stone hatchway, added tin hatchway, added metal hatchway. He also added a flat screen TV, added cooked carrots, and added beef stew and cooked beef stew. Added cooking knife workbench tool. And for PvPers, banners can now be damaged by other players, but not destroyed. Once a banner is broken, this will allow other players to build unconstructed base parts. And then he also fixed the Research Recycle Kit exploit. All right, so with the hatchways here, uh, used to just be the brick hatchways with the metal hatch. Now you can put the metal hatch on either the stick the planks, the stone, the tin, or the metal. Uh, so let's get up here and take a look at what these look like here. Now, these are pretty cool uh, that he added these in here. Like before, it was just a brick in my previous update video. But now you got the old stick here. You have the wooden planks. You have the stone. You have the flat or the tin and the metal here. So nice addition to the game here now that you have different types of hatchways now you are either going to need to find these hatchways in the world uh in airdrops or you're gonna have to find the schematics uh to make these with the research table so keep that in mind you can unlock these now at the research table so let's go inside and take a look at that all right so at the research bench as you can see here i am on stone here so you have the stone hatchway you don't need to research the stick and the planks you will need to find the schematics or research with your points here for the stone the tin the metal and the bricks so keep that in mind you will need the research bench uh, to get those or you can find the schematics in the world now let's take a look at the flat screen TV here that he introduced with this update. All right, as you guys can see here, I am on the flat screen TV. This thing is pretty massive here. It does hook up to power, so you will need a pair of pliers and some wire. You're going to want to hook it up to your power source here. And then from your TV, you're going to want to hook it up to a surveillance camera. Now you can get the surveillance camera from Trader Joe down in the desert. So go down to the desert and find one of the six locations that he spawns at. But this is pretty cool. As you can see here, I am on the old big screen here. So hook it up to power, hook it up to a camera, and you now have a big screen TV. So this thing is pretty sweet. I like it. Resolution's not that great, but hey, we're in a post-apocalyptic world here. So uh, uh, enjoy the flat screen and all the people that try to run in front of your base. You can now see them. So, all right, let's look at the new items that were introduced with the, uh, with the gardening and cooking stuff. So, all right. So with the cooking stuff, you're able to make beef stew. Now you are going to have to find this recipe in the world, uh, to be able to craft it. 
If you're familiar with the schematics for the garden beds, the two by two, the two by three, and the three by three, they look identical to that. It's a little blue piece of paper that's cut up or torn apart, uh, but you're gonna need to find that to make the beef stew here. Uh, once you find that, you are able to craft it. You do need a workbench, and we're gonna get into that here in a minute, but uh, you're gonna need two raw meat, you're gonna need three carrots, two potatoes, and one bottle of water. And that's gonna give you the beef stew here. And I'm gonna show you how to cook these up, but once you cook them up, it is going to give you cooked beef stew, which is 130 foot food, 60 hydration, 20 health, and minus 20 sickness. So it's starting to creep up here with the bottled tea here, which gives you minus 30 sickness. So keep that in mind. Once you start eating these rad pills, you will get unwell. Uh, so keep that in mind. You're gonna need to kill the sickness with some type of item like the stew, the mint. Uh, you also can cure sickness with bottled water uh, and that stuff as well as pumpkins. All right, so let's talk about the carrot seeds here that you get with this update. Now you can find these out in the world. This is what the carrots look like when they're grown and you can cook these items for 15 food, 15 hydration and minus five sickness. Now let's talk about where you can plant these items. You can plant them in the small garden bed. You can plant them in the two by two, the two by three, and the three by three gardens. Now, I'm not sure if I wasn't clear last time with the update, but in the two by twos, you can plant nine items. The two by three, you can plant 12 items. And the three by three, you can plant 15 items. To place the items in the middle, you have to get on top of the garden and place them in the middle. My last update video, I just planted them around the outside. So I wanted to give that information for you guys so it was clear. All right, so to craft the beef stew here, you are going to need a cookie knife. You are gonna slot this in your workbench as a tool. When it, once it is slotted in your workbench, as long as you're in vicinity of it, you're fine. Go ahead and hit craft and you will start to craft up some beef stew. Now it does take a minute, so craft some Craft some stews up here and do that. You can take your knife out and put your tools back in the way you had them, but make sure you have the cooking knife in your workbench tool slot. Doesn't matter which one, just slot it in one of those slots and craft away. All right, now once you have your beef stew crafted up, you are gonna wanna come over to your stove here. You're gonna want to shift click into your stove. Now, if you shift right click and drag, you can pull these down here and craft or cook a bunch of these at a time. They don't have to need to be in one slot here. As you can see, I have six items cooking here on the stove. That's the max you can cook on the stove is six items at a time here. Now you can see some of the images here. The stove now has a grill and a pot in it. The barbecue has a grill and a pot in it. And the campfire has a grill and a pot in it. So all you have to do is slot your grill and your pot into whatever cooking item you want. And then lastly, in the last update, he teased us with this new POI here, the bunker, which is located over by the hangar. If you're not familiar where the hangar is located, it is in the north biome. It is on the edge of the desert here. Uh, you also have on the other side of the hangar here, you have a farm in that direction in Kearney Town. Uh, to the north here, you have Big Rad Town and then Hillside Town in that direction. And then you have the factories over here and then the other farm. So that gives you some kind of geographical locations of where the hangar is located. As you can see, we're right here next to the hangar. Come down here and you're gonna come through these double doors here. Now, once you come through the double doors here, you're gonna run down this path. Previously, it was blocked off, but then he sealed this elevator so we couldn't get down in it. However, with this update, you can now get down into the bunker. So you're gonna come down here, you're gonna hold E to ascend and descend. So hold E here. All right, so elevator is going to come up. Uh, so once it comes up, we are gonna go down here. All right, once the elevator is here, you can go inside. You can hold E to go down. Now there are two levels in this sh shaft here, so go ahead and go to both levels. I'm not gonna spoil it for all you guys here, but we're gonna go in here to the first level of the bunker. Currently there is no loot down here, so you can check out sector six down here in the bunker. 
But if you guys have noticed at the top in the fields there, you noticed a shaft that you could see down in for the silo. Now you can actually get inside here. This thing looks amazing. Be careful if you were to fall down there, you would have to use admin and console commands to fly out of the shaft here. But now that you can get in the shaft and see all the way up to the surface here. But that is the old bunker here. Now again, you can go down to the next level if you guys want to. I'm not going to spoil it for you if you guys want to check it out on your own. But uh, that is the old bunker. All right, that's going to wrap up this update video. I just wanted to put this information out there for all you survivalists uh, on Remnants. Now, if you're new to Remnants and checking this out for the first time, make sure to head over to the Steam store. This game is on sale 20% off for the next 24 hours. So go ahead and check that out. If you guys want to stay connected to my socials, our links are down in the description. Stay up to date when I put out new content. Also, the Remnants Discord server link is down in the description as well. Uh, this game is developed by a single dev, and he is working his ass off to put out this content. Keep the game updated, fixing all the bugs, putting out new content. So get involved early, play the early access. But as always, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like button. Also, if you're new here, Make sure to subscribe for more videos, and I thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you later. Until next time, take it easy.